Here's another program where exceptions get thrown and caught during the execution of the program. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to pause the video and work out what this code prints out and then we'll look at it together. Alright, as is usual, the program starts by calling main. And so we get an activation for rec record for main on our call stack. And the first thing that main does is it enters into the try block and makes a call to the hello function. So we get an activation record for hello on our call stack. And then the first thing that hello does is it prints out hello called. And then it proceeds to a try block within which it makes a call to the goodbye function. So we get an activation record for goodbye on our call stack. An execution proceeds to the body of goodbye. And the first thing that that does is it prints out goodbye called. And then it follows that up by throwing an error object. Now error is the class that's defined on the top left over here. It has a constructor that takes in a string and it saves that string as a member variable. The error class also provides a git message get msg member function that will return the message that was passed in order to construct the error object. And that message in this particular case is the string by. So as usual with throwing an exception, the normal control flow pauses and the program searches for a try catch that can handle this kind of exception. So we'll first check the current scope and see are we within the scope of a try block and we're not. So then it's going to check the next scope and see, are we within a try block inside of hello? And indeed we are. And so it's gonna look at the catch block to see if there is one that can handle the kind of exception that was thrown. And indeed there's one of those as well. And so execution will proceed directly to the body of that catch block. And that catch block actually just immediately throws another error object. But with the string hey rather than by. All right, so we have the entire process repeat, repeat itself. The program looks to see, are we within the context of a try block in the current scope? And we're not. So it's going to check the next scope and see whether we're within a try block in main. And indeed we are. We're still at that call to hello. And so now execution will proceed to the catch block that can handle this kind of exception. And actually, it will proceed to the first catch block that can handle an error object. Okay, so even though we have two catch blocks here and both of them can handle the exception, they actually get looked at in order, and the first one will handle it, so that's the one that gets used. So execution will proceed to its body, and that's going to print out the message that was passed when constructing that error object, and that is the message hey, so we get hey printed out. And then once that catch block is done, execution proceeds past the try and catches, and that prints out main returns, and the program ends.